All right, family, we are here at the WEB, the Boys Center for Pan-African Culture. And this is the front part where the, the bus of the boys is. When we get out, we're gonna take some group pictures and, some, and you know, organize some energy. Straight ahead is the actual museum, which uh, originally was his house. And so it's uh, turned into a museum with some great display, a lot of history and things like that, so you can be properly connected. And then to our right is the actual memorial where is, you know, he is buried. So that is his memorial house. Right. And to the back is the Marcus Garvey Guest Center and also the African Diaspora Forum. So we're gonna take you inside and get some footage for you, family. And we'll come back out and connect you. But this is all about the boys right here. Yeah, 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 most like that. I know the man is children in Ghana. These children in Ghana, when they see me, they know I'm a, I'm a born in Jamaican, you know, because I'm the, I'm not the most guy. I want to learn Jamaican. But my yes. can't even remember me. Absolutely, brother. We remember, remember me all the time. No. But I remember you. You're Rastaman from the mountains. I remember you from the So why is he not in his brother? Oh, yes. They are there waiting for us, and we'll be there soon. Yes, family, so. Eight, no, that's the ice man. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's uh, eight. Uh, this one is security guard. Eight from uh, the okay. states come in, let's work the numbers out yeah, and eight. I get you the total. Yeah, you can wash your hands. You know I got Okay. Oh, you know, uh, uh, sorry about that. Kwabina, uh, Kwabina, Shelly makes nine, says nine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So just, just oh, tell them nine, it's all good. I smell so good. So no, you're fine. I was just trying to get a photo so I can get the entrance fee. So I told him nine because I'm... Um, yeah, third one, like if we get 2,800, it's three of them. Can I carry on? 25. Alright, so family, we're in the house. Nice and cool in here. A little story about this house and Dr. Du Bois. This was a house given to Dr. Du Bois by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. Dr. Du Bois came to Ghana in 1961 at the age of 93 years old. Dr. Du Bois traveled on a sea. They spent a month on a sea before they get to Ghana on 27th in Ghana in 1961. Dr. Du Bois spent only two years in this house. He died in this house and he is buried in this house. Where you are standing now is the living room of Dr. Wallace. And we can see something there. That's the original kitchen cabinet used by Dr. Du Bois in 1961, the tea cups they use. Dr. Du Bois came to Ghana by the invitation of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah in 1961. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was having an idea of making a document for Africans. And the title of this document is the Encyclopedia Africana Dictionary of African Biography. This was the document to know the true history of Africans, who they are, what they have, and what they can use their resources for. And this will come together, fight for their rights, and help each other develop their countries on their own. Dr. Du Bois was a Pan-African leader. He was a communist. A man, a man fighting for the freedom of black people and also believe in the society. And the main idea of Pan Africa was that the descendants of Africa will come together, stand firm for their rights, and also help each other develop their countries on their own. So the Sakura Nkuma idea of making that document was coming from the Pan Africa idea. That made Dr. Du Bois find that interested to come to Ghana, just come and help him audit that book and publish that book to the whole world for everyone to know that Africans is not just a slave, or blacks are not just a slave. 
but they have something in them. Dr. Du Bois came to Ghana when he was 93. He died in this house when he was 95. For now, if Dr. Du Bois is supposed to be alive, he'll be 153 years old. Mm -hmm. Can I place this way? Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X. Some of the book from Marcus Garvey, Dr. Martin Luther King, George Padmon, Rosa Henry Clark, and other Pan African writers as well. Mm. Just that you don't allow to take the books out, we sit and we read. When you sit in here, or you have to have to stay in here? There's a seat around over there, so, so you sit in here. And you read. So you have to make an appointment to get in, or it's no, just please, anytime, so just walk in. Okay. Do people, do people ever come and read out loud, like this, like audio book? No, please, you just come and read on your own. Mm. That's nice. Okay, please, you are going to our right, so use the way to our right. The boys first on library. George Padmore, we just literally went to his memorial library, which is basically a library and houses memorial as far as his grave site. Should I open for you? There's a lot of pictures in. This one is the soil around the gravesite of the family. And this one is water in the boys' house in Massachusetts. And this one is the earth or the soil around Dr. Du Bois' house in Massachusetts. Mm. 
he came with these three things. With the water in Africa, we believe that if someone is about to die in his old age, sometimes the person noticed by themselves. Like Dr. Du Bois, who was 93 years old when he traveled to Ghana. This man was trying to find his route back to Africa. So he was prepared to come to Africa to come and rest with the ancestors. And with this person, we also believe that if that man is about to die, and that person at the moment of critical and there's no doctor around to help that person, what we ordinary press can do to help that person is that we just give water to the person to drink, the person will come down and die easily. Nothing is in the water, ordinary water. So Dr. Du Bois also believed the same thing. In case he is about to die and struggle to death, he might need water to drink, water from his hometown so they can go in peace. Hmm. That's why he came along with this water. And we are still seeing this water here because Dr. Du Bois died a natural death. He went to sleep on 27th August, 1963, and he didn't wake up. Nothing was wrong with him. He wasn't sick. He was 95 years old. Like what happened to my grandma last month. She went to sleep on 20th, uh, 15th of last year. She went to sleep. He ate all the food that he needed to eat. She went to sleep. Midnight, wake up to come and see her. She was 96 years old. Oh, wow. Thank you. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. Yes. And yeah. And with the story around outside the boy's house, we all move away from home. Sometimes we miss the looks or the nature of our house. For the boys not to miss anything, he was thinking that he came along with his house to Ghana that he brought this soil with him. And with the story around the graveside. The first wife of Dr. Du Bois is Mrs. Nina Gomez Du Bois, died in 1950 at the age of 69 years old. The first son of Du Bois also died 18 months after his birth. Mm -hmm. He didn't enjoy life. So for a loving father and a husband to remember this family always travel around with this soil so that they could come to Ghana or to come to Africa to also rest with his ancestors. Okay, what questions? Welcome. Do you have any videos of Dr. Uh, w. B. Du Bois So where's the no picture video zone? It's a little slow of it. So where's the no picture zone? Where they are entering right now. This yep. was done by Dr. Boyce. And then what about the very back? So that was a no video zone. I'm just gonna give you, it's a good feel, family. For those who have never been here, I've been here many times over it. It's, um, you know, I'm one of the people who believe in the study history, study the roots and culture, and then progress from it. You know, and it's keeping it like really honestly that simple.
reconnect to your roots, get your blessings, learn from it, build from it, keep the energy strong. Yes, it. make sure you get lots of uh, photos in the Africa for African shirts. And we're gonna, get, we're gonna do some good stuff outside. So family, we're getting the documentation down, showing our energy, our experience in Africa. You know? Sometimes I you know, wonder, like, who would ever thought that we'll be back on the motherland after being stolen? And so many of us are coming and returning. Now we're going to put this thing in perspective, family, straight nation building. This is just the foundation. So as you can see, that's the circle of the voice. Cap and gown, all that good stuff. Beer in U.S. and things like that, so family. Yes, Kwame, you can also call the person uh, which is uh, yeah, I called the woman, a certain a small boy called and I'm asking him, he said he's at Tamale. I said, ah, no. So I'm just waiting for you. I called the number 